fine, sure, whatever. Okay, that's cool. Hello everyone and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. My name is Arxend and today I believe that we're gonna be doing some side missions. Anyway, on the last part we did do some main missions as well, so I believe it's about time that we do some the side missions, right? So we are actually gonna go right to the... Oh, right back to the cemetery first. I believe there is something going to continue there. After all, I did go back and complete the mission like I was supposed to. The one where you are supposed to kill the zombie thingies. Anyway, here we go. So might as well just go here. Okay, yeah, thank god there isn't a falling damage in this game. At least from such short, uh, falls. Anyway. Let's talk to this guy. How's that whole blood-sucking thing working out for you? Not bad. How are things in the cemetery? Moon comes up, dead come out, hammer comes down. TV gets a uh, lousy reception. All in all, life's having a round swell. Okay, nice to hear it. Goodbye. Sounds boring. Anything else you may need? Sometimes a man needs the kind of release putting a 44 slug through a zombie's brain doesn't provide. You know, temporary affection. Okay, I think I know what you mean. So, uh, cold and hot. Now that that's all taken care of, I'm free for the rest of the night. And you gotta admit, uh, you and I, there's something there. Got ten minutes you wanna kill? God, no. No, no. No, no, I don't. I don't do that sort of thing anymore, sorry. Uh, you know what, just because... Oh no, I don't wanna do this. No, sorry, no. Oh, you married? God, no. Cute, see you Rom <laughs> Romero. Oh, his name is Romero. Okay, look, if you promise to never ask again or tell anyone, I'll do something. I don't like that idea, but... I'm gonna go with it anyway, uh, no. Really? I mean, really. Just don't bite it, alright? What? I mean my neck. I'm not promising anything now, strip ghoul. <laughs> I'll be gentle, maybe. No, I'm not promising anything. Okay, I didn't like that at all. <laughs> but I... Oh, uh, no. No, never again, okay? How's that whole blood-sucking thing working out for you? Uh, not bad. How are things in the Moon cemetery? comes up, dead come out. Oh, okay, nice to hear it. Goodbye. Can't take anything from him. I thought there was another mission here, but apparently not. Okay, and now I hate myself. <laughs> oh, goddammit, why did I have to do that? I might as well go actually check up on the money situation here as well. I believe I do want some more money. Okay, goddammit, I should do something about this music here, though. It is incredibly loud. Money, right? Been a well, while. not really, money's been just yet. Up. Here, that should provide for an interesting evening. Okay, thanks. 250. Yeah. Was expecting more, but, I mean, better than nothing. Okay, thank god, the music didn't actually get that loud just yet. Alrighty then, let's see. Um, what is this? Uh, still the same thing. Hey, wait. Oh, oh yeah, Heather. Oh, you're back. I um, I went out this evening and I, well, I met someone and he wouldn't leave me alone, so I, he came back here with me and, well, I thought you might want to, you know, want to drink his blood. I mean, you did what? Where is he? Ah, I love coming home to find my, uh, find dinner waiting. Thank you, my pet. Just in time, I'm starved. You finally making yourself useful. No, you did what? Uh, in the bathroom. I, I locked, I locked him in. Did I mess up? I'll deal with you, uh, I'll deal with this. Uh, you stay here. I don't know yet, I'll see what I can do. Okay, so let's see this thing here real quick. There is nothing I can do right now, as far as I can tell. I don't have any books or anything on me either. I did leave some of the weapons here as well. Just to give myself a tiny bit more space and took out all of these things so that we can sell them as soon as I can figure out where. 
Anyway, let's go deal with Heather's uh, goddamn mess first. God damn it, Heather. Hey, what the hell is this shit? Let me out, god damn it. I'll kill that crazy bitch. Oh, ho. now just just for that, I think I'm not gonna uh, do this the easy way, you know? You'll do no such thing. No, uh, god damn it. Okay, I'm gonna have to let him go. Psycho bitch brought me here, hit me in the head, and locked me up. What the fuck? I mean, who the fuck does that? Uh, she's sorry. This actually happens very. Oh, this is very actually very therapeutic for her. Uh, well, only because you tried to rape her. At least that's what <laughs> she'll tell the cops. Uh, get out of here. You don't mention what happened here to anyone. I'm sorry. I should ne ha get me. I should have never left her alone. My apologies. I'm gonna say the third choice here. Get out of here. As soon as I get out of here, I'm calling the goddamn cops. Let's see what they think of this, huh? I'll have them lock up both your asses. Uh, you would really do that to someone like me? No, I'd actually just drink him out, right? But no, no, let's just go with the first choice. Oh, come on now. I didn't mean it. I, uh, I should have known there was something wrong with that broad. <laughs> Look, I'll give you money. Whatever you want, just let me go, all right? Please, don't kick my ass. Oh, man, I think I just shit myself. <laughs> that is funny. Anyway, get out of here. Uh, say a word, and I'll find you, and you'll regret it. Hey, let me out of here! You what know, are you honestly, doing? I did come actually... Come on, it is... Come on, this isn't funny! Why hey. is this... What the hell? Is anybody there? He's still Hello? yelling. Shut up, man. You're not even here anymore. Just stay silent, okay? Anyway, I was actually planning on drinking from him just a tiny bit, but apparently I couldn't. Okay, yeah. Email. There we go. Sunrise and 10. I recently read Mr. Flayton's uh, scathing review of the Cavaletti Cafe in the Sun. In the Sun, okay. Uh, that's probably the paper. And I must tell you that I am extremely happy with his conclu conclusions. You have done well. Please accept the payment w I've left for you in your mailbox. We will no doubt be seeing each other soon. SL. Sure, whatever you say. Cut to me. I need to write it down again. And yeah, there is nothing new there. Okay, fine by me. So let's go get the money. After that, I believe I'll just continue with the main mission for now, at least. Maybe. Or maybe we'll see if there is anything interesting. No, no, no. We'll just continue it for now. I believe we'll need to find some interesting things first before we do anything else. Any of the side missions around Hollywood. Anyway, um... Money here. Only 100? Are you kidding me? You could have given me more, you know that, right? Um, just a moment. Actually, I feel like there are some missions we can do here. Uh, you went to the Skyline apartment to look for Muddy, but he wasn't there. Instead, you heard a message, another message, telling Durbin and Milton to meet someone at an unknown location across the street from a bar. Carnival of Death, you saw a bloody murder scene on the pier, or by the pier. No, on the pier. Uh, but were on it weren't able to find out anything significant about the killer. Except that uh, except that the killing was extremely brutal, vicious, and beast-like. Okay. So this here is some kind of a place, but... What is the hotel? Okay. Opera house? Nope. Restaurant? Wine shop? What? I don't think I can go there. And there is nothing here either. The, just a cafe. I don't fully know how to complete that mission then, so... Wait, okay, I didn't see anyone. Okay, yeah. I'll just go talk to this guy real quick, if he has anything else to say. I believe he might be. Any luck? Nope, getting closer. I had a few questions. Certainly. Okay, so we can actually talk to him now. Anything else I can do in this city? There is something, but it involves a... Gargoyle. Hmm, I can see that's got your attention. Uh, what the hell is up with your smile, anyway? Uh, yeah, tell me about this gargoyle. 
It's taken up residence in my beloved Asian theater. It is closed now, but that's beside the point. I sent some people to evict it, and it sent them back with a few less limbs. I can't have that monster attacking Kindred in my city. Okay, I'm interested, but how exactly does one deal with a gargoyle? I'll take care of that gargoyle if you tell me how. Big bad Isaac can take care of a little gargoyle. Okay, sure. I'll think about it. I had another question. No, uh, we'll go with the first again. It's a walking block of stone with a taste for blood. I'd suggest whatever method doesn't result in you being eviscerated. In truth, I'd rather have it as an ally, but I doubt it's going to be chatty. Here's the key for the theater. I'll leave it up to you. Okay, a theater. I believe we saw one outside our apartment, but... Uh, is that the one? Anyway, I'll see what I can do. I had another question. Certainly. Okay, tell me about yourself. In your lifetime, unwittingly oh, or not, okay. you have seen an Isaac Abrams production. As the financier of 30% of American films' top 100 movies, you must have. Being the Baron of Hollywood, I can do any project I want. Um, I'm impressed. Who's your favorite person you've worked with? Uh, wow, did you produce uh, A Praise 2 or Ghost Brutha? Brutha? I love those. Can I be in a movie? No. I'm impressed. Who's your favorite person? Stewart, Lean, Hitchcock, Wilder, Holden, Dean, Scorsese, De Niro, and last but not least, Ash, my child. I remember some studio suit lost in time telling me the only thing they could use Bogart for was to move furniture. Okay, Ash. Ash. Where do I begin? Seven years ago, I saw a casting session for what would become Negative Zero. The moment I set eyes on him, the passion of his performance, I knew he had it. Had what? I hadn't seen anything like him since Clift or Dean. He had the looks, the charisma, the lure, that undefinable quality that makes a film legend. My first movie with him made him a sensation, and it also changed him. Um, yeah, how? How exactly? Once everyone knew who he was, I no longer did. The parties, the drinking, the sports cars, the women. One night when I came to discuss his next role, I found him nearly dead of an overdose. And I couldn't... I couldn't let him go. Okay, you made him your child to save him. What were you thinking? Didn't you think of the consequences? Now, let's ask about if he did it to save him. I acted on impulse. I'd seen so many others die before their time, but with Ash, I had a chance to prevent that fate. So, what happened? It devastated Ash. He still wanted to act, but I denied him his place in the limelight. He had to lie to his friends about his new lifestyle. He had to feed. I gave him a club, a scrap of his former glory. I did everything I could to facilitate the change. Does he hate you? He feels obligated to me. I don't think he hates me. Resents me, maybe. I am his sire and he is my child, and there is a responsibility and respect inherent in that bond, even if we are no longer the friends we were. Where can I find Ash? He spends nearly all of his nights in his club. The I don't know why I want hole. to find her, him, but I am, whatever. I admit it, too old-fashioned to appreciate it. To me, it's the compressed essence of everything that's wrong with the film industry today. Okay, my, maybe I'll head over there sometime. I had another question. No, I don't really. If I pass it, maybe I'll stop in. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. See ya. So now we've got a mission to go deal with the gargoyle. But you know what? I want to actually see the buildings around here a tiny bit. I don't think there's anything we can enter here, so... Can we...? No, it's closed as well. Can't enter that one, so... I believe the first building we can enter is this one here. Lucky. Let's go check it out. Can we actually enter this building as well? We cannot just yet, at least. We need a key code for that, but... Let's enter this place and look around just a tiny bit. Okay. Who is this guy? Sorry, no vacancies. I'm just look, uh, taking a look around. Damn, guess I'll try the place down the street. Good night. No, I'm just looking around. 
Feel free, babe. This is a treasure trove of human banality. Working here, you meet lots of types of men. You, you get stories, you get characters, you know. This, this is the kind of place where writers go to study human behavior, man. It's invaluable. Okay, so you're a writer. Writer's such a tarnished term, you know what I mean? It's like, like every other guy says he's a writer, right? Like, you write a letter, you're a writer, you know? It's like, what I do, that's like, that's screenwriting. Like, I encapsulate the essence of excellent film in my scripts, all right? Like, I'm, not, I'm like a blacksmith with pens, all right? I'm a welder of montage. Okay, sure, whatever you say. Uh, how do you expect to break into the business at your age? What do you write? Does a writer write, or does he just, like, ink the flotsam and jetsam floating in his subconscious into a 120-page piece of film genius? But, you, you know, most of my subconscious is filled with old horror films, so that, that's what I write mostly, I guess. Horror? Hmm. I don't think this guy is involved with the movie that we saw, or the video on the previous video. Oh, um, previous part I made. Anyway, horror. What kind of horror films are you working on? Me? I'm like looking to redefine the vampire movie, okay? Like, tons of people make vampire flicks, okay, popular characters, but me, I'm gonna be doing the real deal. Like, not only is it gonna be scary, but it's gonna be like, it's gonna be believable. Vampires? What do you mean? Oh, uh, what do you know about vampires? Yeah, that's exactly what I'd like to know. And what do you mean about real? Well, in my story, it's not like about garlic and bats, okay? It's about vampire societies and stuff. You know, like, what would vampires be really all about? I mean, how do they blend into society without being discovered? I see. Well, I must be going now. It sounds like... Oh, uh, it sounds to me like you know too much. I'm sorry, you must die. No, I see. Well, I must be going now. Although I would probably try to kill him. But, wait. There are some papers here. David, a guest in... Oh, a guest has left a laptop in room 3. Password is Lycans. Huh, interesting. But it only has a weird poem in it, or on it. See if you can determine the guest's home address. Christopher, or whatever, Christoph. Can we actually read anything else? No. Sure, whatever. There is a radio here. Turn it off. I don't want to listen to it right now. Can we steal anything? Apparently not. Fine by me. Anything here to look or steal or take? Whatever. Okay, so room three. But is there anything else here hidden? Nope. Nothing this way. No items hidden. I wish I wish there were more items around. Just a random weapon on the ground. <laughs> uh anyway, let's see. Uh can we open this? Nope. It's closed. It's closed. Oh, this one is locked rather than a key card. card. Eight. I don't think I can do this, can I? Uh, let's see. Lock picking is six. Actually, you know what? Blood buff. This gives us two. There we go. I can do this. Just wait. Something is wrong with that computer there. Okay. Easter eggs. <laughs> okay. Password. Hacking. Lichens. Oh, this is the actual apartment that I was looking for. Okay, hint. Open doors here often to the werewolf in the sky. In the end, the... Wait. In the end, the ending, you'll manage to pass by. Okay, sure, whatever. And printer invoices. Do what? What? Enter. What is this then? Sending invoice list to the printer. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. Leave that be for now. Anything else around though? Nothing here. Oh, cut me. Bathroom. It's not too bad. But these things are absolutely nasty. I wouldn't sleep here. Even if you paid me to. Okay, let's see. What's next? Level... or uh, still 8. I can do it, but I'm gonna check out this one here first. Apparently I can't do that one. Okay, fine. Here we go. Nothing here. Oh, got me. Huh. Oh, there are some uh, prescription bottles. 
So where do we find the... Uh, what was it called again? Oh, no, we need to f well, first wait until... Oh, God, my blood amount. I've got barely any blood here. But you know what? We've got our blood back here anyway. Right here, waiting for us, you know? But let's see in this side first. Can we do anything here? Nope. Hmm. You know what? Just um, uh, just for a moment. Let's take a bit of a sip here. Should be able to get some blood at least. Yeah. Still alive, but... Hmm. He'll be fine, he'll be fine. So let's go. Is there anything else we can look around here with? Unless we just... Is the next thing... Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. This is... The... Wait, what? Ground Zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Let's go check this place out as well. I believe last time I only checked the computers. But is there anything else we can do? This is the bathroom. Nothing here, as far as I could see. What about this here? Oh, hello there! Um, I'm not seeing anything interesting, though. Nothing behind here, either. Okay, we can't enter this place. That's fine by me. And nothing else, either. Okay, nice. Good to know, good to know. So now we'll go deal with the gargoyle, I believe. Unless could there be something behind here? I saw that door inside there leading to here, but what is up with this place? Wait, 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 wait. No one's looking. Good, 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 good. Just a tiny bit of blood. Oh no, no, goddammit, holster that weapon. Wait, what is this? Okay, it seems to be nothing. It's not leading anywhere. Okay, fine. Wait, I saw something there. Anyway, I'll... Uh, wait, what? Can I lockpick this thing? I need to go sell some of my stuff anyway, so... Might as well go through this store, right? Um, hello there, my friend. Hola. Um, hear anything about the new serial... Um, about the serial killer? Uh, this isn't gonna turn out to be ironic, is it? You're not, like, a serial killer, are you? Uh, no. What else... Um... What else goes on around here? Anything interesting? Always. You should come out and see my... Ba nope. Nope. No, no. Uh, listen, I'm looking for a tape. You mean like hardcore girl on girl on kangaroo action and stuff? What? Yeah, what is that? Yeah, my man Flynn at the Sin Bin hooks me and my crew up for all the stuff they don't even allow on the internet. Huh? Okay, so I'm assuming that we need to go that way then. Oh, that? Man, that's supposed to be some hardcore shit. I heard this one guy like died right after watching it. Uh, know where, can, where I can find a copy. Like I said, Flynn's a man. You should talk to him. Okay, thanks. I'll ask him. Goodbye. We still need to sell our stuff, Hola. though. Uh, I'd like the special... Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. Um, here we go. Sell these things. 80 bucks. No, that's not bad. I've actually gotten some of the levels on the whatever bartering. So might as well sell my stuff now. There we go. Now we've got quite a bit of money. That's good. I'm not gonna sell anything else, I believe. Except maybe these things. I don't think these things have any use. Prescription bottles. Did I just sell a bit of my blood? No, 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 thank god. I don't think I did. So what about these morphines? Might as well sell them as well. Yeah, that's perfect. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I actually do have some blood packs, but I'm gonna drink just a tiny bit of them. You know? Uh, we've got seven. We'll use two. There we go, we are full on blood. Anyway, before we Hop go in. to Sin Bin, let's deal with this. So, sure, why not? Downtown. Here we can find, I believe, the... Uh, the... Whatever weirdo gargoyle. Um, gargoyle removal service. I just want you to take care of... The gargoyle that has taken up residence in the old Asian theater. You picked up a book about gargoyles at the Tremere, ha Tremere Chantry downtown. Perhaps you should pay out. Huh. Maybe. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go do that real quick. Okay. So, what's about the. Oh, what about the gargoyle Hello, then? Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Uh, do you have a minute to talk about. Uh, of talk to me? 
Um, I have a question about uh, for you about gargoyles. Gargoyles? Why are you asking about gargoyles? It seems that one lives in an old theater in Hollywood. I have some questions, so it's in Hollywood. What can I tell you about them? Um, come on, Max. You are not telling me something about this gargoyle. <sighs> yes, I know something of gargoyles, and of this gargoyle in particular. I had hoped that he would meet his final death, but it seems my creation still lives to torment me. Uh, what? Your creation? Yes. Many years ago, I created this gargoyle to protect the Chantry from our enemies. He was a faithful servant and saved my life more than once. Unfortunately, he became increasingly upset about his role as my protector and wished to be set free. I refused to do so. Finally, he stole away into the night, and I haven't seen him since. I see. Well, Isaac Abrams has, uh, has asked me to get rid of the gargoyle. Isaac Abrams? His disrespect for the Camarilla is surpassed only by his hatred of LaCroix. If he finds out, it will be a source of great embarrassment for the clan and the Camarilla. He cannot learn that this gargoyle was my creation. Do you understand? Uh, completely. I will tell no one your secrets. I appreciate your discretion in this matter, Neonate. Oh, good to hear. No, now what do I need to do? Here, take this. It is an ancient ward that may help you on your battle with the gargoyle. You need only carry it on your person to enjoy its protection. Okay, thanks, but how do I best, the, uh, best fight the gargoyle? With much difficulty, I'm afraid. Gargoyles are notoriously resilient. Their hides are made of stone. Firearms will be almost useless. Blood force is the only thing they understand. All right, then. Uh, that's great. A few more questions about gargoyles. No, no, I'm out of here. We've got what we need, anyway. Okay, then. So, let's see the map, first of all. Where is the... Hollywood Cemetery? Yeah, sure. Has been Hollywood Apartments. No, I don't care. Asian Theater is number one. Okay, so we've actually been really close to that goddamn place. Are you kidding me? Where there is it? It's supposed to be here, right? On the other side of that. Yeah, this one. This building here. I thought that because there was a gate here that I couldn't enter it. Oh, are you kidding me? I can actually open these gates. Oh, son of a... Ah, uh, Fine, sure, whatever. Okay, that's cool. Kindred invader, monster, I will smash you, crush you, tear the flesh from your bones. I mean, you can try. Hold on, I'm not here to fight you, I just want to talk. I mean, we are technically here to fight him, but let's try to talk. Talk? No! Always kindred are talking, scheming, hurting others with their lies. Monsters, you all! Abominations! A curse upon the earth! I mean, you have seen a mirror, right? <laughs> Uh, wait, I come here in peace. I have an offer from Isaac Abrams. You know what? We'll go with that. Arthur, what offer? Yet another lie. He hopes to control me, to enslave me, just as my master before him. First he sends his underlings to destroy me, and now he wants to make peace. No! Curse him! Curse you all! Okay, believe me, he doesn't want to control you. He said he needs your protection. What is this? Another devilish trick? Am I to trade one chain for another? Bow to Abrams now, instead of my old master? Never! Okay, there are soldiers and there are commanders. You will make a good soldier. No, that's not the one he wants. Isaac doesn't need another servant. 
He needs an ally against his Camarilla foes. I'm assuming that's actually the best choice here. He could use a friend like you. He needs you to hold on to his power. No, that's not the way to go. That's obviously gonna backfire. Uh, face it, kid. You don't exactly know... You don't exactly have a lot of options here. No, I believe the second choice here is the best. Camarilla. What means this, Camarilla? Uh, you really aren't too smart, are you? Nope. Uh, it means you better start uh, doing your homework. They are in charge the these days. Actually, I'm kind of working for them. They want to take over LA. Nope. Not again. Again, that's just a terrible way of wording it. Anyway, they are kindred who want to rule over other kindred. Isaac wants to... F oh, Isaac fights against them. <sighs> He fights, fights against his own kind. Yes, but only as long as it takes him to consolidate his own power. No, again. Jesus. Yes, he fights against those who made you a slave as well. The Tremere. Uh, survival in this world is all about who tells who what to do. Now, yes, and now unfortunately I'm going to fight you again. The second option is the best. <sighs> the Tremere. Hate them above all your kind I do. Secrecy and sorcery. Betrayal and blood magic. Damn to hell are all of you. But the Tremere, most of all. Is this gonna be a fight then? Anyway, actually they are not such bad guys or bad people when you get to know them. Yes, Isaac needs your help to eradicate their curse once and for all. Right, now things are uh, things will be different when Isaac is giving everyone the orders. Don't blame the player, kid. Blame the game. By the way, yours is over. No, again. I don't like the idea that they are only giving me such terrible choices, but... I mean, the second is, again, the best one here. Yes, I will fight alongside this Abrams and help him in his battle against this... Camarilla lifeless demon he may be, but I swear to fight at his side. Could you hear it? I'll tell Isaac he was... Oh, he has a new ally. Yes! Now leave me! This theater is my domain, and I seek the peace of solitude. Alrighty then, see ya! I don't need to fight this guy, so that's good. So, let's take a look around first before we leave, actually. What is this place? That oh, yeah, it is a theater. Hmm? I didn't see anything. Okay, fine by me, fine by me. It seems all fine. Nothing to pick up, huh? Oh, wait, what is this? Film canister. What the hell? Let's see. A battered film canister, tap hotel, shuffle step. The hell is that supposed to be? I don't think I care too much, at least. Mmm, nothing else. Yeah, what about the upstairs? There was an upstairs spot there, right? Yeah, there is. Good. What about the uh, here, then? Anything to pick up? No, we can't even open those things. Wait, these are bathrooms here. Men's and women's. Okay, sure. What about the other side, then? What are those doors for? Oh well, see ya, gargoyle friend. I believe I'm just gonna go return the mission considering how close we are. There we go. After that, we'll probably go talk to our Tremere friend as well. Wait, what? Where am I? Oh, we went past the... Um, to the wrong alley. Oh well. Here we go. I believe we'll get more XP for this, right? We've already gotten, so far, five points. Any luck? Uh, getting closer, I have a few more questions. About the gargoyle, I've convinced it to be loyal to you. A gargoyle serving in the defense of Hollywood. <laughs> Exceptional. I'm sure it'll come as quite a surprise to the first shock troop that crosses the city line. You've got a lot of promise. It's a shame you're still working full-time for the wrong side. Um, I've got nothing against the Anarchs. 
The prince knows who gets the job done, that's why I'm here. No, no, no. I've got nothing against the anarchs. I'd like to hope so. Well, if you'll excuse me. Again, we don't really have another choice here, though. Anyway, right, later. Good. So, now we can go talk to the guy, then, I believe. And here we go. Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Uh, do you have a few minutes to talk? Of course. I resolved the issue with the gargoyle's trous. You did? That's quite an accomplishment for one so young, Neonate. And with discretion as well. Again, you impress me. That's doing what I feel is right. And your efforts are well appreciated. Please accept this gift as payment for your accomplishment. The Tremere clan appreciates your confidentiality. I mean, I'm kind of feeling... Uh, no, wait. Cool. See ya, Max. I'm kind of feeling um, like I betrayed him at this point. But you know what? We can still go meet the Anarchs of downtown as well. Oh, just a minute. Just a minute, everyone. Last round, it's a bar, right? And there is this place here as well. Oh, I believe I finally figured out how to do the uh, mission of Santa Monica. Mud Hunt. Okay, we'll just continue for the last round first. I wanna know if they've got anything to say. What the hell do you want? Hey, kid, what's going on? Heard anything? Uh, I'll let you know when I have. I mean, when do we know what we've got is worth telling? It makes no sense. They should at least update it on the map, or on the quest log, you know? Anyway, let's just go check this place out then. I believe there is something going on here, right? There has to be something. Hello? Oh. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 something's going on here. Headless chap. I don't know what I mean by chap, but it's fine. Okay. Oh, hello there, friend. Did you see it? Um, the headless corpse. It's kind of hard to miss. He done tore him up. Right in two. Ripped him apart like a rag doll. Okay, tell me what you saw. These two guys, the dead guy and another, and uh, well, they showed up. Uh, I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. Okay, who was the other guy? The dead fella called him Muddy. Muddy, so it is the same as in the mission then. So this guy and Muddy, uh, what were they doing here? Uh, they was waiting on someone. They were going to do some kind of job, they were saying. But the person they was meeting when he was late. So the one guy leaves to find the phone and call him, and the, and the dead guy stayed. Oh, well, that's when the killer, that's yeah, when he showed up. Okay, showed up. One second he wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows he come up. Scared the shit out of the dead guy. I liked to scream, but I couldn't breathe. Uh, then what happened? Oh, that killer, he grew these claws. I swear it, I saw it. The dead guy went white like he'd seen the devil, and then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. Okay, what did he say? Oh, I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did or what they did. The killer made sure the dead guy knew who he was and then ripped him open. It just tore him apart. He did it real slow and made the guy scream. Okay, if you tell anyone about uh, anyone that story, they'll lock you up forever. You should leave now. Okay, okay, I will. I don't want to never think about that again. Okay, you better do. Wait, wait, am I walking into the way? No? Okay, that's weird. That felt weird. Okay, so... I'm seeing his head here. Hello there, friend. <laughs> baseball! Oh, just playing baseball with his head. I don't think we can go up there, so... I'm just gonna use the boxes here. I believe there was a card here to pick up, right? Yeah, on this guy here. Wait, what is this? A uh, car stereo. Nice! Okay, so... Lucky star room key. Okay, interesting, interesting. I know a tiny bit about this as well, but what is this? Plus one to dexterity. Oh, interesting. Thank you, Tremere Regent. Although, again, I kinda got it by lying to him, but... Not lying, but cheating him, kinda, in a way. Oh well, um, the, we got the lucky star key room, room key. You know what, I'm gonna go check it out as well. 
Now then, let's see. Do you know Light anything you? about the key? No, uh, the other way around. See you. Okay, so we can't talk to that guy any further. Anyway, the key is for this place, right? This ap apartment here. Nope, that's not the one. Nope, it isn't. Yeah, good. I believe oh it's this God. one then. My work is done. Okay. Found Muddy. Mike. Okay, what the hell is that supposed to be then? Wait, brother or salvage? Okay, what is this thing? Let's see. The card reads Brother Salvage Santa Monica. So we know where to go next, but I am not gonna complete this mission on this part yet. It's gonna be on the next video, because we've got one more thing to do. And it is to return to our apartment in uh, uh, downtown. Night eating you? Oh, wait. We could actually do this real quick first. Did you know there's a dead body in one of your rooms? Already? Man, that's early for tonight. Oh, well. I'll, I'll, I'll call the cops, but who knows when they'll show up <laughs> to protect and serve, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess I'm out of here then. Now then, I forgot to actually speak with her, her Heather bef after we dealt with the other guy there. Master? I let him go. Never ever do that again, Heather. I'm really, really sorry. I'll make it up to you, I promise. You better. Anyway, I can't stay mad at you. Fine, apology accepted. Uh, see you later, Heather. Yeah. But before that, again... <sighs> it's you. Wait, what? Earlier tonight, you weren't following me, were you? I had this feeling like I was being watched. <laughs> Maybe it's nothing, but... I'm still a little shook up. That's not good. It wasn't me. It could have been one of the number of people who want me dead. Err. Want you dead? Why? How could anyone think of harming someone so... extraordinary? Um, jealousy, probably. Just be careful, okay, my bet? Somebody you don't know approaches you, shoot them in the head. Yeah. If they're after you, yes, I'll do it. I just need to learn how to use a gun first. Uh, do that. I will. Now then, uh, about your appearance. Okay. Change it. <laughs> I still want you to change your appearance. Although, it's not bad, this one either. Anyway, see that you have uh, by the time I get back. Okay. I believe that we'll end the part with that then. I don't think I've got any e new email, have I? Let's see, just in case. Nope, nothing. So yeah, if you guys could leave a like, subscribe and share this video, that would be incredibly helpful. And I must say, I love this goddamn fish tank. Why is it so big though, and how do you clean it? Seriously, how do you get in there to clean this place or thing? Anyway, on the next part we'll be going back to Santa Monica and dealing with some side missions there as well. But for now at least, have a good day, and I'm out. So see ya! Bye!